afternoon or evening friends how y'all doing the day has finally arrived here we are with some street fighter 6 action how's everybody doing today i want to be playing well no, we won't no well no uh i figured i'd start off doing something kind of simple Ooh, 12 stages do 12 stages and i'm just gonna go through the uh story right now there was this weird formula on an internet math forum and well Long story short. I like that phone. <laughs> See the graffiti on it? Got guy in the background. So there's a guy in the background above her knee that kind of looks like JP. We'll see how that goes. Uh, what's his name? Zeku. On the bottom left, she's got some books in the back. When I finished... Someone by the name of Xiao Bing sent the DM my way. And her screen's cracked. Ugh. You can do better. So obviously I'm thinking, what code? And let me tell you, what came back had me totally floored. Code combines his formula and the Nashai language. Nashali? For real? Talk about blindsided. I wonder if they're gonna make that a costume. Just the lounge costume. The country of Naishal and I. We got a bit of a connection, you see. My uncle was a great guy. No. He always looked out for me. And well, he died after getting caught up in some trouble over there. The code I cracked that day was the start of it all. It's like new Chun Li almost. That's how I, Ninja Star Kimberly Jackson, made my first step on a journey to discover the truth behind what went down in Naishal. I say that because she has a father figure type person who is uh, apparently murdered and or killed, much like Chun Li did. I know she's not Chun Li. She's I, know, I, know, I get that part. I'm just saying. I'm saying y'all. All right, I chose to start with Kimberly because I know a little bit about her, and I feel like I could do some stuff. So, uh, 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 thrown. I really like Kimberly. <laughs> Really like this. Was it this? Yeah. I'm trying to remember everything I forgot. Like blocking apparently. That was bad. Let's put him in the corner. Drive impact. I messed it up. Drive, drive, oh no. Drive impact out of the corner. Critical hour. Good start. Good start. I'm trying to shake the rust off. Bounce. I like that one. <laughs> I like that one. Really? Really, son? Alright. Ooh, nice. I like how I'm complimenting the computer. Uh oh. Aquagon! 
I chose to do 12 instead of 5 just so I could get the full experience. Get thrown. That worked out really well because it evaded his attack and got the counter in. New content has been added to the art section. Well, what's new to the art section? Because we're not getting it. Because they did that. The first time I just figured maybe it was the windscreen. Oh, we get to see Cam. Ooh. That felt like it went mad horizontal on that I feel like every Street Fighter iteration we get closer and closer to Street Fighter the movie, Tammy. And Street Fighter the movie is arguably my favorite, Tammy. I say arguably because she was like mind controlled throughout that entire movie. If you have not seen Street Fighter the animated movie, I keep I think I said the movie, not the movie. Street Fighter the animated movie. Um, it is absolutely worth the watch. That went mad far too. Good thing more. Game is gonna be dangerous. That's easy. One, so let me see if I can do this. One, two, three. Is that forward or backwards? I don't remember. Oh, maybe it's punches. That's a good point. That's a good point. New art. Mm, new art. That was like a truck. Okay, it was a truck. Make it a scrap heap. Make it a scrap heap. All right. Overkill thing is. Hmm, I wonder. I don't really like Kimberly on that uh, particular game mode just yet. Because I, I, I was thinking, uh, maybe I just thought too much. <laughs> so many of her attacks involve like some type of grapple or launch or something like that. And you're not launching the truck. All right, let's try to play like we know what we're doing. What am I missing there? Down. Nah, son. Nah, son. You a big ape. Around Round two. Uh oh. Oh, I did that wrong. Nothing can go wrong when they're playing your song. Kimberly wins. 
I was just about to say, I'm sure I got something uh, of title. China. Because I'm kind of weird, I went through and checked all the um, stuff beforehand. Like all the, anything that had a little exclamation point, I went and checked everything. And I saw where they had titles and stuff, so. And how that was tied to their kudos system. On the ground. Oh no. Nice. I hope I get to learn how to play Chun-Li one day. Oh, that's right. I remember now. I'm starting to remember. I'm starting with the moon. You did, girl. So we want to... That. Into that. Into that. Into that. Okay, so it is punching. When I tell you I've done no well no, I take that back. I have played a little bit of this game. Uh, mm, the first thing I did was to go into Extreme Battle to try out some of their Extreme Battles. And I played, uh, I used JP and I did um, the drone system and uh, the one where you have to do the like, you have to do a certain number of things before the end of it. Like, do three drive carries, or do uh, a two throws, or don't get hit in the next seven seconds, or something like that. We do this one? So, I've played a little bit. But, I think I'm going to go to an early showing of a cross speed. Uh, Spider-Verse today. Uh, uh, uh. Nope. One, two, three. One, two, three. He's a little six-hit combo. All the pressure. A dude's this. Going for slide. Oops. Really interested in playing Marissa too. Oh, I did it wrong. But it still worked out! So I was going for the uh, the air super, and I had already fallen because I pressed the wrong button. So I just did the regular super. What is this? <laughs> or I did the I ended up doing the regular super, like air super. Yep. Can we get Sean back in the game now? This is less impressive if I'm not doing it by timing base. Because in theory I could just hold it. Oh! You jerk! Interesting. So the key to that is going to be not holding it the entire way through, but I think the, the thing is going to be trying to get perfect parries, which I tried and I got hit. So we'll figure that one out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Honda's not happy.
all these combos. Ooh. Ochio throw. Oh, I can't wait for the butt stompers. <laughs> I've forgotten about the butt stompers. It is Street Fighter tradition to have someone play Honda and just butt stomp, butt stomp, butt stomp, butt stomp, butt stomp. Butt stomp. Yo! Honda's out for blood, boy. Read me like a book. Okay. Woo! We'll take this damage. <laughs> we'll take this damage. So this way, if we lose, we still have the buff next round. And if not, we just have the reduction or the increase. Kimberly wins. Cause even if he had won that, he would have won um Jamaica. we would have had damage increase and movement speed increase for the next round. Give him the look, Kimmy. Those come fast, boy. They're faint fast, too. Yo, DJ's about to be a problem. <laughs> DJ is about to be a problem. Hear me now, believe me later. Shoot. Because I've been watching, you know, and hearing people talk about how good DJ was. But I hadn't really put much thought into it. Because, you know, looking at it is different from playing against it. And the speed those those projectiles come out. Makes that, that faint look so much more deadly. Oops. direction hey wake up super because I'm crazy I'm a crazy boy Dulcimer? That's such a dope ocean. Like it? I really like the way he's animated. Let's save our super meter. Oh no. I wonder if they're a hidden character. Oops. 
know, in Street Fighter 4, they had, uh... Uh, I think the first one was... Guki... Or Gokin... Was it a Gokin and Akuma that were secret? I think that's what it was. And now I'm kind of wondering if this also road. has that. I've met a lot of people and kicked more tail than I can keep track of. As much as I love to gush about my adventure, that can wait for another time. First things first. There was this guy, right? I think he's the one who's been pulling all the strings. Puppet Master! May I help you? I really like the art. Yeah. You know Al Jackson? He used to work with you. Look at that JP art, man. That got that's also gotta be a, a alternate costume. Cause that's amazing. He was my uncle. And I'll have you tell me everything you know about him. Johan Petrovich. Well, well. Johan Petrovich. Well, now we know what JP means. That fast. <laughs> hey, what you do with Aunt, homie? What you do with Aunt? That's the fun thing with Kimberly. So much stuff I do wrong, and it turns out to work anyway. Ow. Ow. Ow again. Good lord, man. Is well that was my first round loss. Oh. Is that it then? Round two. I like that. That looks like a target combo. Should we teleporting? You sit still. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Suppose it's my turn. I should have gone with the throw. Got a better combo off of it. Could have lost that. Not trusting and believing in me. Jump. Yeah. Nah, son. Speaking of target combos, I haven't used it. Just... Good throw. Should have done that. Should've just going with the super. I'm change the music up right quick. Change the tempo, baby. Ready to talk now. Wins. It's just regular difficulty. Oh, I gotta do a oh, it's gotta be some level eight runs. I won, but it sure didn't feel like I came out on top. Beat him, but it's like I was the one on the ropes. There are few things more dangerous than unwarranted confidence in one's abilities. Were I you, I would endeavor to forget what transpired today. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this turned into a horror game all of a sudden. Yo. Farewell, Ms. Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. I didn't manage to get anything out of him. One thing I did figure out, though, is that I'm not nearly strong enough to chase after a monster like that. 
Seems like this ninja star still has a lot of training. Oh, what? Yo. Okay. So that's the first little run through of Street Fighter 6. This is just a simple arcade mode with Kim. The ones in the future will probably only be 5 and 12. I'll try to save 12 for my own stuff. And I also gotta step things up. His Excellency Demon Haka. Kaka. <laughs> um, but I'm very interested to see where this all goes. Um, I like the way the story's fleshed out. I love the character art, um, particularly with JP in the background. Just those little background shots of JP where he just looks so ominous and then apparently demonic, psycho demonic. It's very neat. I like the art style. Um, but yeah, you know, we'll see more about the story and kind of go see how that goes. Like I said, if I do more, well, I will do more, but um, I'll probably do five matches just so we can get the story part out there. And I am very interested. I'm sure we'll see because there are much better players than I. Long Island Joe is like blazes through level eight. So uh, it'd be interesting to see him go through the story mode a couple times. Hopefully he goes through the story mode just so we can see if there is an actual like hidden character or something like that. I really hope Capcom put a hidden character. Or maybe even a time lock hidden character where after the game is released for so much time. That would be cool because uh, I think I know that Akuma is one of the um, the DLC characters. We already know that's coming. So it would be really cool if a little closer to his launch they released him. So after you play arcade mode with a, a few um, like say you get perfects and you know no losses or something like that all of a sudden you have to fight Akuma that would be great if he just came out of the background I respect it Sonic boom but yeah that was neat I mean you, I do like that they brought the little uh, stages back in the bonus stages back in uh, gave a little update with the truck um, with the I really, I'm really interested in the um, the parry game now. Because what I just noticed is that the normally when you're parrying, if an attack comes through, you get a little bit of your uh, your drive gauge back. This didn't give you give me any drive gauge back. I was parrying; and it wasn't giving me drive gauge. So the way that game is going to work is you have to utilize what drive gauge you have to go the whole way. Now a perfect parry might give you more drive gauge. But a regular parry does not. And I'm betting, I don't know if there are difficulties on it, but if there are higher difficulties on it, I can almost guarantee that you won't be able to do it by just, without without at least one per perfect parry in there. And I think that would be cool. Make it interesting, you know what I'm saying? Make it interesting. Character design feels great. Game feels really good. Game feels really good. Uh, we'll see how that is when I'm playing characters I don't know. Because, <laughs> like I said, um, with the beta, the last beta that came out, most of the, most of what I did was uh, play Kim. I played a lot of Kim. And I think Kim is probably one of the most fun characters I've played in a fighting game in quite some time. Her movement's real fluid. Nice easy combos you know stuff like that also i'm debating on how i want to do this because i don't want to seem like i'm smurfing but i kind of want to start also i don't want to seem like i'm smurfing really especially because i know i'm not going to be great later i was going to try to go to battle hub and start at the lowest and just go from there all the way up um but a i know um i know my skill level is a little bit better than the people at the bottom right and I don't want to feel like I'm picking on them. And B, I know my skill level will not get me to the top rank. <laughs> so it'll be really weird for me to just be like, ooh, look at my climb. And then the next thing you know, I'm at bronze. <laughs> and it's like, well, this is where the climb stopped, guys. <laughs> we made it through all the beginner ranks, and now we're at the barely intermediate rank. And here we are, stuck. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, we'll see.
I'm trying to think if I like this track. I don't think I hate it, but I don't think it's my favorite track. The music does feel good though, especially that Nashal, that Nashal, Nashal level. It feels that music felt great. <sighs> He's so cool. He had to grow my beard out and put on a wig. That should be oh, that should be my cosplay. That should be my that should be my Halloween cosplay. Uh, okay, so I do some cosplays sometimes. You guys have seen it on the channel, um, but most of it is just like for Halloween because I don't really go anywhere else. I guess next time we have something here, um, next time we have a con here, I can I can dress up. But it's just so hot, man. Like I was thinking about going to Spider-Man Noir, and I was like, dude, I'm going to melt. <laughs> Run around in all black, in an all black trench coat in the middle of the summer. Carry a oxygen bag with me, shoot. <laughs> if I was if I was in better shape, I'd do a a, a 5K like that as Spider Man. But I'm in awful shape. Working on it though. I'm working on it. I don't know if I have a favorite stage yet. I don't. I didn't pay super attention to the stages. Uh, I think I liked uh, Chun Li's stage a lot. I wasn't really paying attention at Blanca's stage. Uh, Nayshaw looks cool, but I, I want to look more into the details of it. Um, I kind of hope we get classic stage. Part of the coolest thing with Street Fighter V was re-getting classic stuff. So not just like old uh, music that you hadn't heard in a while. Unless you played like retro Nintendo games or Capcom games. Not only was that cool, but getting old stages, updated versions of old stages was great. And I kind of hope we get something like that here. Like I would love to see um, Ryu's stage, just where it's on the rooftop from, from Street Fighter 2. That is legit one of my favorite uh, stages of all time. I really like that stage. And so the updated version of that would be nice would be really really nice I'd also like to see a uh, an updated of the bathhouse um, e Honda's bathhouse stage I like that I like updates if you can give me a, a feeling of nostalgia but also a feeling of wonder at the same time I like that which ultimately I think is what you're here to do I think that's what they're here to do have fun give you some nostalgia so you come back and play you know street and then give you something new where you're like well okay well let me try these new characters which is why we play kid because <laughs> she's so much fun this is all this simic roy sakal sakal i wasn't paying attention to ch uh, candy stage either i like that though that feels real steady. Mounted police in the background, double decker bus, flags in the background. Really nice perspective shots you can see down the road. I like that. Oh, I don't know what I hit. Sound does feel really good in this game though. I do wish here at the credits um, they would have rotated songs just because I'm not sure how much I like this particular song. What time is it? Uh, oh. I don't know, it's starting to grow on me. <laughs> I 
I think I would have liked this tune better if it was if it was uh, down a little bit because now it just like I, I'm a big fan of horns and whatnot but these just feel as high as they are in the elect like it feels like an electronic synth which it probably is but it's just it, it just feels weird to have the synth with the horns but I feel like take the same thing and drop it down I'd probably love it if it was if, if it wasn't if the register wasn't quite as high I don't know if register is the right word <laughs> it didn't seem like as high a pitch there we go I think I'd like it a little bit better but I don't hate it it's pretty good that's what I need to be I need to call Riley McDonald so I can be the law clerk for Capcom I wonder what that's like to be a law clerk for Capcom. Like, I'd imagine they would want you there if you cared about, like, the game and the culture and that type of, type of thing. I don't know. <laughs> I do want to look more at these stages, though. Getty Images. All right. Oh, I do like Gal stage. We didn't play Gal this time. Thanks for playing. No, thank you for making. <laughs> Anything? Anything at the end? Anything at the end? I mean, if it's just a thanks, that's fine, but... A hint at what's to come would be great. Ooh, that's nice. Head to fighting ground and finish arcade mode. One coin is all I need. Sweet. I kind of like the look of it. Like that too. Need my little thing. There we go. Need that to stop in the background. Ooh, I like. I do like her with the uh, the mask up though. I wonder if there's a button combination where I can get the mask up. Is that Rashid? Is that their character art for Rashid? Oh, dude, that might be. Cause it ain't, it's not DJ, right? And he's got to roll around his hand like he's, like it's wind or something. I don't know, but I like it. I do like this too, the tiger. So much going on in this picture, but I like it all. Cute. That's Monot and Poison, Jury. I'm forgetting names. Who's in the top right? Oh, that's Seth in the middle. Who's in top right? I can't really tell by the hair. That's pretty neat artwork, though. That's cool, too. I think that's Street Fighter... F oh, Street Fighter Five. Yeah, because the hair. Yeah, I can take from that. I do like Akimon. <laughs> that's a good picture. That's pretty dope, too.
can't remember what game this was. Or maybe it was on a, one of the Udon comics, but that, that art is so good. Yep, remember that. Remember that. Also Street Fighter V. Is it, what is this from? Look at Gal right there. Oh, that's so good. This feels like it's from the movie, right? So you got Chun-Li and Vega on the bottom where it looks like Chun-Li's about to kick Vega. In the top left, you, um, E Honda fighting um, Blanca. No, no, no. Take that back. Take that back. E Honda did not fight Blanca in the animated movie. E Honda fought Dolphin in the animated movie. And Blanca fought Zangief. And he did so... Uh, Zangief did... Or he, he bit Zangief like that. On the ear. Or on the, the neck. I do like the bison feet up there with Sagato. <laughs> That's pretty dope. I've always liked this picture. That's pretty dope. Alright, that'll be it. It's a good start to the Street Fighterness. We'll take a look at it later and see what all we can get going. But that was good. I mean, I, I really enjoyed just the story mode, though. That's fine. And that's good because, um, you know, we got obviously way more characters play. We got DLC coming. And if they put that kind of effort into all of them, that's great. We'll try to do better next time. I don't know how we're going to do better because that's probably the character I'll, I'll prop. Well, I know Luke a lot. But Luke is more timing based. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace out.